Happy Christmas morning. I had prepared and recorded my reflection before I went away to Zambia, thinking that December would be more than full enough of things to do and think about, uh, but little did I realise all that December would have in store for me. I'm sure most of you are aware of the very serious case of malaria that I contracted whilst in Africa and actually how close it came to taking my life, which is quite a lot to come to terms with. Things like that can never leave you unchanged and it has certainly given me a new perspective on the eternal purposes of God that are not just played out in our own time and space but they span the generations before us and after us. I think that's why a focus on such a majestic carol has been so good for us as a church. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Through it all, through the busyness, the things that grab our attention, the stresses and strains of our own lives and our own experiences, At its heart, Christmas is about the fantastic news of the restoration of the relationship between us and God. That's it. Keep all the paraphernalia, the traditions, the stress, and simply listen to the message of the angels. God has given us more than we could ever ask for or dreamed possible. He has created peace through his mercy and has drawn us to himself. As we look forward as a church, we see a lot of excitement. The development of 146, the growth of our ministries in the local community, the realisation of long-held dreams and visions. But in all of that, let's not lose sight of the simplest yet most powerful of all messages. We have been reconciled and God is calling so many others into the same experience. Our message, not just now, but in January, February, March and beyond, is hark the herald angels sing. I want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas and a very peaceful and happy 2024, governed by our faith in this newborn King. Thank you, MCF, for all that you are, for all your love, your care, support and faith expressed in so many ways. And I want to pray God's richest blessing on you all. This promise we've received is for us, is for our children, and it's for our children's children. So let's receive it this Christmas and enjoy every minute. Let's pray together. Father, this Christmas morning, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his deliberate, committed love for us all, for the price that he paid, not just in his death, but in his birth, his life and his willingness to step into our world. And because he stepped into our world, we can step into his. And we thank you for the reconciliation that there is in the gospel and for the opportunity we have to live life as it truly should be lived. May 2024 be a year where we discover more of the fullness of our salvation and we pray for so many more to step into the wonder of all that Christmas makes possible. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Merry Christmas to you all, and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. God bless.